podcast. I'm Kareem. I'm Shadon. And this is the Think Twice Podcast, baby. Think twice with the two, man. Don't forget that. Y'all like to subscribe to the channel, man. Our channel growing. We've been grinding. It's been great with y'all. Y'all doing it with us. That's what makes it wonderful. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like to subscribe to the channel. That's Think Twice with the two. You dig? Mm -hmm. um, we ain't been doing that many videos. We've been going live. We've been doing all those type of little things, lining some things up for y'all. Right, dig? right. Y'all get ready for We got something sweet coming y'all way. You hear me? Something real nice. Yeah, we do got an F for y'all tonight, though. You know what I'm saying? Because people really like the Fs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Definitely an F for y'all. And like most Fs that most, the, most of the Fs that we tell is always a, uh, a message behind it, like something for you to think about. You know, like Especially, for the youngsters. Especially for the youngsters. You know what I'm saying? You did. And this F here starts. It's a typical date on on the cell and the six on the cell street. Right. You know what I'm saying? But now on six on the cell street, that's right across the street from Julio's in the Magnolia Project. You might have Julio's was a, was a store that sold everything in there. Yeah. It was, it was a corner store. Everybody know about Julio's from New Orleans, but uh, well at least from uptown. But anyway, describing six street coat. You know you gotta be careful because sometimes you have cars coming from St. Charles of people that don't know about New Orleans drive straight up Sixth Street and drive straight into the goddamn courtway. Yep. Cause there ain't nothing to stop them. Nothing to stop them. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes we'll be in the court. We have to get out of the way, up on people and all kind of shit. And it came up Sixth Street and ran straight into the project. Yeah. You know what I'm Facts. saying? Facts. Cause it's not no brick and no 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 big curb right there. You know what I'm saying? It's just you know, drunk white people used to do it all the time. All the time. Man. All the time. All the time. Being parades. Yeah. But anyway, this is a typical day we're in Sixth Court. You know, might have some guys over there shooting dice. You know, we might be playing horseshoes or something. Dominoes. Dominoes. We might got our younger homies and our, uh, our own girls over there playing pity pack, fire out of pity pack Spades. Games. Spades. Somebody might be getting their hair braided. Yeah. You know, music out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Somebody drinking. We talking shit. There's a lot of things going on in the cold at the time. You know what I'm saying? And that liberty stretch from Forest Street to LaSalle Street. Right. You know what I'm saying? On 6th Street, though. Before they tore that down. Yeah, before they tore that down. So we all out there, you know what I'm saying? We chilling, you know? And uh, during this time... Uh, we, 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 we were just just we wasn't into it with nobody. There wasn't no really beef going on like like too much. We just hustling, getting money. But the way that it was, and it's not just where we was from at our part of the project. If you was out there, one of your partners came, walked up on you, said, "Man, get a gun, come on, let's go. Get the chopper, come on, let's go." You really not gonna ask no questions because you are the dude come and get you. Already know that it's kind of like a violation. To come get me on some bogus shit. Right. Go, make me go get my chop and come with you to go some do bullshit. something with you. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. You on some bullshit, the whole, the, everybody gonna hold you accountable for that. So when somebody comes come and do that, we thinking it's something serious, we go get it, we gone. You did. So anyway, my partner pull up. You know, we pull up. He said, man, come on, man, get in the car with me. He had the target at the time, you mm -hmm. did. I'm like, I almost got the stick. Yeah. My was co-host. Mm -hmm. I come back at the co-host with the stick wrapped in the towel. I hop in the back seat. My brother get in the front seat. He had a nine on him. Mm -hmm. So we ride. We, we leave out the project. Bust a right on Washington. Bust a left on the cell. So we don't even ask him where we go in. Ask him what's up, who, who, who it is or nothing. We don't do that. We find out what it is and we get there. Yeah. You did? So as we going up the cell, we make a left on Martin Luther King, and we bust the fucking right into the fucking mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so we ride in the mouth. We going up and down the driveway. I'm like, shit, bro. Boop. Well, I got the gun on my left. I'm looking around like, man, what the fuck was going on? Now, if we going through these drivers, I'm looking at the milk boys looking down in this car at us. We going back and forth in the driveway. The milk boys just looking. I'm like, say, bro. I'm like, man, we keep going through there. What's happening? He was like, yeah, man, the nigga keep fucking with my whole bro. I know that whole back here. I know she back here. The nigga, you know what I'm saying, gonna talk crazy to me on the phone. And I'm like, you ever seen that cartoon where the nigga just start getting red? And smoke come out his ears and his nose. And that's how I felt when that man said that. I said, dog, man, get me the fuck from back here, man. Get me from fucking back here right now. I said, man, you tripping, man? I was like, we riding back here with guns, hot guns. That probably, I ain't going to say they got bodies on or not. We in, we in the milf riding looking for a nigga bitch. Right. <laughs> Yeah, he magged the nigga out of his hoop. He magged the nigga out of the milk out of his man. Everybody know what I'm talking about. I ain't going to put nobody's name out there. You know what I'm saying? But right. the, the point of this whole story is you have to be careful about what you do out here in these streets and what you move and help a nigga move for. Right, you can't can be no crap. I'm just hopping the car. Like, let's go. Yeah. You don't know what you're riding for. You know what I'm saying? We back here on the whole premise of going smash a nigga behind his girl. His bro. His bro. You did? They, they, they look, you got to be smaller. You got to think twice out here, man. You dig? But uh, yeah, we went back there with the stick and everything. Mm -hmm. On a bump mission like a mug. A bump mission. 
Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? I think about it, bro. If they really was on some, on some, that's niggas out to know you, man. Man, niggas probably would have crushed, crushed us. us. They could have crushed us back then. They could have crushed us. We even know. We even know what, what it was about. Just young and dumb. Just young and dumb. Young and dumb. Jumping out, just jumping out their head first. That's why I told y'all, like in these stories, like, my brother and my brother and my and my big homie used to tell us all the time, man. Y'all slow down a little bit, man. Y'all be jumping in too much of shit. Y'all be too much of shit. Y'all jumping in too much of shit, just trying to be, you know, man. Look, man. Oh, gun on and shit. Focus on the money, man. But we was kind of gun ho though. Nah, just like out of the Marines, man. man. We were buck wild, dog. Yeah, so so. We were about whatever. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, "Let's go. We going. We going." You dig? But the, the point of the story was, you gotta think twice. Don't be so quick to jump off into something you don't know what you're off into. You don't know what it's about. You got to think out your man. It's a thinking man's game, youngsters. The whole fact that we even rolled from the Magnolia Project to the Melvin Mead Project in, in the daylight with hot guns behind a piece of ass is a whole fucking crash dump mission. I would have been explaining that to nobody and something would have popped off back there. Or I'd have got smashed in the mouth. I we'd have to end up shooting at somebody behind his broad. But well, the story is, man, that was stupid. It was stupid. That yeah. was dumb. It was dumb. And lame, really. It was message. Lame. Lame. I can see that. Like some of these niggas don't want to take no L's and say they did never fumble and did no goofy shit. But you learn from doing goofy shit, bro. And I'm here to tell y'all, man, don't rock, don't rock like that. Think, yeah. think about what you're doing for you do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I could have threw my whole life away behind something that had nothing to do with me. That was just goofy. Just ride with my homie. Yeah. Nah, homie, Miss Green was gonna get me for no shit like that for number one. Yeah. For number two, I should have said, man, what's up? What's going on? And he'd have said, man, I'm gonna see where this bitch at. I'd have moved like, right in and there, man. Drive me off right here on, on Forest Street. Let me go yeah. and answer right quick. I'd have yeah. got out and never came back. You know what I'm saying? But I think back, back on the that type of shit that niggas really die, die and shit like that. Right. You know, you 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 ride with somebody because that's your homie. But he, he, his whole fucking energy, his whole pretense about the fuck we going back here is fucked up. Right. And you ain't much thinking of, I want my homie right or wrong. No, I ain't with you when you right or wrong, nigga. When you wrong, you by yourself. And when you wrong, I'm going to tell you you wrong. Yeah. You dig? Yeah. But this just was another episode, man. We had to run by y'all, man. We ain't been doing too many episodes. We been, you know, they been asking us. About the crackhead episode, we got some more coming. The crackhead, yeah, Chronicles. crackhead Chronicles. We got some more coming for y'all, man. Y'all be cool, be patient. Yeah. You dig? We working. But thank y'all. Y'all like and subscribe, man. Y'all hit that cash app. Think twice podcast with the two. Y'all like the channel. Hit the notification bell. Share the video. Yeah. And we gonna keep on grinding, keep on building with y'all, man. Peace. Oh. Uh -huh. See that's that.